Hello, it's great to be with you today. Thank you for all of your interest in good nutrition and good health. Not only vegetarians, but everyone. Vitamin B12 is needed for healthy nerves and for healthy blood. And it's not made by animals or by plants, it's made by bacteria. And historically people thought traces of bacteria in soil or in plants would give us the traces we need. It's not a reliable source. Now, meat eaters will get some B12 because there are bacteria in the intestinal tract of the animal. However, along with the B12 will come many undesirable things. Bad fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, and all sorts of other problems. So that's the worst source of B12. And not only that, but many people, including meat eaters, have trouble absorbing B12 from meat or dairy products because they don't have enough stomach acid to remove the B12. And certain medications can also make it hard to absorb B12. So the answer is to take a B12 supplement. It's in every multiple vitamin, and you'll also see it at, at drugstores and many food stores. And the amount that you need is 2.4 micrograms, but that doesn't matter because they all have more than that, and it's completely safe. So it's a good idea to take B12. It's essential for people following plant-based diets, but it's a good idea for everyone. There are many, many plant sources that provide omega-3. And although some people think, well, fish has omega-3, but fish get it from the plants in the water, from algae in the water. We can get it from plants too. For example, certain green nuts have it, but even green leafy vegetables. They don't have a lot of fat, but what they do is high in omega-3. So as long as we have plenty of green leafy vegetables, we're going to get adequate omega-3. It's surprising. When I was in medical school, we thought you could not possibly reverse diabetes. But now we know that you can. And the answer is to have a completely plant-based diet and to keep oils very low. That causes changes to occur in the cells of the body that allow the diabetes for many people to go away. Yes. So many people thought that food didn't really have much power. But we now know then that's because the diets people recommended were simply too weak. Like switching from beef to chicken, it doesn't do much. But if you go further to a plant-based diet, it can open up, it can reverse diabetes, it can help people lose weight and make you feel and look much better. Now, wait a minute. Not everyone from China eats in the southern United States. <laughs> so sorry, can you say again? Not everyone in eats as if they're living in the southern United States. People in Alabama and Mississippi are famous. People in North Carolina, too, are famous for eating with lots of grease. But not everyone in China eats that way. But yes, it's a good idea to reduce the amount of fat in the diet because, first of all, that helps keep us slim. It helps reverse diabetes, bring down high blood pressure, prevent heart disease, but your tastes will change. What you'll discover is that after a week or two, you prefer that lighter taste. Give it a try, you'll see exactly what I mean. Your taste will change, and then when you go back, if you've ever tasted greasy food, you will not like it anymore. You'll be fasting. Yes, milk is really good for only one thing, and that is to help a calf get fat. That's what nature made it for. And when you look at what is in milk, if you send it to a laboratory, they will tell you that about half of the calories come from fat, mostly fat, and the second biggest nutrient is sugar, lactose sugar. In fact, milk has as many calories as Coca-Cola. Not only that, the protein that is in milk triggers many problems. It's hard on the skin, and sometimes causes people to have 
less open skin, it can cause migraine headaches and joint pain. So, milk is designed for a calf in the same way as human milk is designed for a human baby. But after that age, there's no reason to have milk. After that age, it's junk food. We want to do more than simply to control diabetes. In other words, some people aim just to help people with diabetes to limit the amount of medicines they're on. We want to go further and help it to go away if we can. So to really prevent diabetes and to make it go away when people have it, we need to get the acid out of the diet and keep added oils low. When people do that, it causes insulin cells to go away and the diabetes can improve and sometimes disappear completely. Let me say this again. Um, we want to prevent diabetes in every case that we can and to reverse it. So that means number one, getting away from animal fat. And we want to take another step, and that's get rid of the added oils. When we do all of this together, the fat that's in the cells starts to go away. And when the fat in the cells goes away, then the diabetes can go away. And this is really not possible with other diets. So we want to take the strongest approach to stopping diabetes. In most other clinics, when people have, say, a high cholesterol level, the treatment is a medicine to bring down cholesterol. However, a high cholesterol level is caused by food. So when patients come into our clinic, we start with food. And we'll help them to follow a completely plant-based diet. Most patients will find that their cholesterol comes back to normal. Once in a while, there might be a person who still has a high cholesterol level due to genetic factors. And in those cases, we can consider medication, but we call that alternative therapy. So we provide care, including medicines when they're needed, but we give lots of support to nutrition. We find that our patients are very happy, and our doctors are happy too. I'm very glad to hear that. Thank you very much, and I hope people will visit our website, 